Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna, gonna talk about actually a very interesting and also important topic, which is how to choose your master thesis topic for master of AI and the machine learning. We're gonna cover why this is important and how to know your interest and two major ways of uh, actually to choosing a topic. For those of you who are new here, my name is uh, Neo and I'm a, a graduate uh, student from Master of AI uh, at KU Leuven. So now I'm starting my PhD uh, at Hent University with major in computer science and uh, machine learning. I like writing and sharing knowledge about AI because I think AI has a great potential to improve our life and in the next at least 10 years. So without further ado, let's get started. So first I want to talk about uh, why this is important. The first thing I want to stress that uh, you should really uh, take seriously when choosing your master thesis topic for the following reasons. First, it has the highest credit uh, in your master program, which is 15 credits, uh, meaning that this is actually a very big commitment for your time and efforts. Uh, normally the courses uh, in an AI program is about uh, five credits. So you can imagine that this master thesis has a workload of three courses, basically. So you should keep that in mind. And second thing, it has a great impact on your job and the PhD application after graduation. So during the interview, the interviewer, they will always ask, what is your master thesis about? And if your thesis topic is actually highly related to the job or the PhD position, you will definitely have a higher chance to get in this position since, well, you already become kind of expert in this field. So you should really think about what you want to do, to do after uh, graduations as well. So before you're choosing your thesis topic, the first thing you should do is actually to really ask yourself, what is your interest? I know this is quite uh, personal and the and also kind of difficult for people, especially if they don't have like too much uh, knowledge or uh, experience with AI and the machine learning, but that, that is okay. I provide some questions that might, uh, might help you to find your interest. So the first thing you want to ask yourself is like, what kind of data that you want to work with? So is it like just tabular data or time series data? or you want to uh, work with uh, images, with audios, or with text. So, because um, the data itself, it's a major part of the machine learning and AI. So it already kind of determine what kind of work you will do for them and what kind of model that you can apply. Uh, and second thing is like you, um, you want to, it's about the models. Um, so what kind of models or techniques of AI or machine learning that you are interested to learn and master. For example, it can be deep, deep learning, data mining techniques, or reinforcement learning. So this is also kind of important for your job and PhD application because some position require you to be an expert in, let's say, deep learning or reinforcement learning, something like that. So really think about it. So what kind of uh, models that you are very interested about? And, and, last, uh, and last, but uh, not the least, I think the most uh, important thing is like, you need to think about what is the actual task and the challenges that you want to tackle for the real world. Um, so you need to really think about what kind of task that you are interested to use AI or machine learning techniques to tackle, uh, to, to achieve, or to approve or to and explore. This is probably the most uh, important factor because it really depends on the person, this motivation. I think as long as you have uh, you are convinced by the work of your of your topic, it is more likely that you can keep working on it uh, throughout your master study. So after knowing your interest, then you can start working on your thesis topic. So normally in the master program at KU Leuven, there are two ways of uh, uh, choosing a topic. First, you can choose an existing topic, which is uh, provided by the faculty and also some company. Um, or you can propose your own topic. So I will discuss the step and the pros and cons uh, for both of the approaches. 
So the first approach is actually choosing an existing topic. So those topics actually are already proposed by the different departments who are interested to apply AI and uh, machine learning to their existing problem. For this approach, it, it is very similar to a job market application. Uh, so first you just check the topics that you are interested in, and then you can, if you think you are interested, just contact the uh, supervisor with your with an email uh, with motivation and send your CV. And then if you both uh, you and the supervisor think it's a good match, then and you can just send this uh, to the to the master of AI to confirm this basically. The pros for this uh, approach is that the supervisor actually they already have a good uh, knowledge of the of the topic and the topic is also well defined and maybe there is a good chance that uh, the data is already collected so maybe you can skip the data collecting part which is kind of uh, time consuming and uh, the comps for this approach is that you can only choose the topics from the existing list and of course because it's uh, job market situation you will face competition from other students as well because a second approach is actually to propose your own topic so the second approach i think it might requires more kind of works you need to first find a, a professor which is uh, willing to be your promoter and second uh, you need to uh, actually write your own thesis proposal it's not too much it's just actually just one page and with some basic information on the topic. I mean, I also write this uh, proposal by myself and I just send it to the uh, promoter if he is agree. Actually, then we just send it this uh, to the master of AI program and uh, if they approve, then we can get into it. Then it's, it's done. So the pros for this approach is that you can really do what you are really interested and normally you are facing very little or even no competition from other students. The cost for this approach is, is that you first you need to actually uh, find your own topic. Maybe a more difficult thing is that uh, you need to find a promoter actually to who is willing to actually supervise your uh, thesis. Sometimes it might be difficult because they don't have a professor which is you know kind of related to what you want to do or even it's like maybe there's one but he has already too many students to supervise so this kind of thing is kind of tricky but if you can't find one then i think you are good to go the last thing maybe is that because this is your own topic so uh, because machine learning and ai requires data and normally it's a lot of data so if you propose your own topic and actually you need to actually figure out how do you actually obtain those data whether it's online or it's it's whether it's from open sources or maybe you can you need to collect it yourself so that's something that uh, uh, you have to keep in mind because collect, collecting data requires some kind of efforts so you don't want to get stuck with that if you cannot even collecting the data so summarize this video. This topic is very important part for your master of AI study. And you should really ask yourself what is your interest and because well it will be your driven forces uh, throughout the year and uh, you need to really good motivation to keep it going. But for both approaches, the most important thing is to uh, to find the supervisor who is willing to be your promoter. So that is all my suggestion on how to choose a thesis topic for Master of AI. If you think this video is helpful, please leave, leave a like and subscribe and share with other students. Uh, this can really help uh, the channel grow. And if you have other comments or your own experience you want to share about choosing this topic for AI, uh, feel free to share them in the comment section. In the end, I wish you all the best of finding your thesis topic and hopefully we will see you in the next one. Bye bye.